What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's What I Wore This Week video. Before we get into the video, since it is the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, I wanted to um, send a little message out to you guys. Number one, I hope you have a wonderful holiday ahead of you with your family and your loved ones. Number two, I am so thankful for each and every one of you that has supported me throughout this year and many years before. I know a lot of you have been on here for a long time, so thank you so much. Um, this year has been a little crazy for me personally, and I'm really just excited for 2023 to run this channel full steam again with you guys, for you guys. So look forward to a lot more videos from One Dapper Street, yours truly, next year. And then lastly, before we get started, next week I would like to post another fan outfit review video which we haven't done in so long but i love seeing your looks i love giving you a little feedback so make sure you follow me on instagram and check out the post there because i'm going to give you the instructions on how to submit your looks it's going to be about your favorite outfit from 2022 and i'm going to pick out some of my favorites that i'll give you guys feedback on so with that said let's get started and take a look at seven outfits styling overcoats and we're starting out on monday in a pair of cargo pants from zara in a yellowish gray color then a black mock neck that i caught very skillfully if i might say so myself this is a black uh, mock neck that i just picked up from uniqlo absolutely in love with this thing uh, i love a mock neck this season then we have from converse these platform sneakers i keep forgetting the model name i really should remember it because i wear them a whole lot and i love them a whole lot we've got black and cream in there a little bit of white and on that cream we're picking up with this overcoat from Hevo, an Italian coat maker. It's all they do and they do it well. Really nice belted single breasted coat. Then from my boy Nathan's Furor brand, a pair of black shades and we have a simple look. It's a bit on the casual side with the Converse and with the cargos but then the um, coat obviously makes it a bit more classy. I like the combination, breaking the aesthetic a little bit. If you do belt it, you can. Um, just to stay warm, I think the look doesn't work quite as well as if you keep it open though, so I would recommend that. But a simple color combo of black, gray, white, and some cream in there. On Tuesday, here we have a pair of fake brown leather pants. It's not fake brown, it's brown fake leather, just to make sure, from H&M. Um, I think I need to still tailor them, I don't love the way they fit in the bottom and we'll explore, you know, my issues there in a second. This turtleneck is from Les Deux. Then we've got the Aldo combat boots that fit really, really well. But um, yeah, let me put on these shoes and I'll talk to you about what, what's happening uh, towards the bottom here. Because they're a little too loose, like if I put them over, you'll see that in a second, it doesn't look that great. Um, so I tucked them into the boots and I think it works, but I'm not crazy about it. Anyway, I'm putting on this H&M overcoat on top. There's some brown in there. It's like a gray creamish base color, some blue in there as well. Then we got the Rag & Bone uh, wider shades, similar to the Furor shades that we looked at in the first outfit. And this is it, so it's a bit more, um, let's call it avant-garde. But it's an earth colored look, and like I said, I'm not entirely sure that I love what's happening with the pants and the boots, but I wanted to make this work, and I really would like, you know, as always, I, I like having conversations with you guys about what you think. So here's what it would look like if I just put them over the boots, and um, I just, I'm not sure that that looks any better. I think um, either the, maybe it's, maybe it's the leather pants that are just wrong, but I wanted to make them work and this is outfit number two on Tuesday. I wore them tucked in. On Wednesday, we're starting out in Lululemon pants, um, off-white color. Then we've got the ASOS Chelsea boots, chunky sole, my all-time favorite the last couple of winters here. And then we've got uh, the Uniqlo mock neck one more time. Like I said, I really like that piece. I think it was around 50 bucks, so like well-priced, feels really nice. Obviously, you guys please wear something underneath that sweater. I'm just doing that for the video. We've got black shades from Jade Black and we've got my Mont Blanc watch, silver face and a black leather strap. So uh, clearly seeing where we're going with this color combination. But are you? Because you probably didn't see this one coming. <laughs> we've got a tan suede double breasted trench coat from Banana Republic. And look, we, we have that black accent, obviously in the boots and the sweater. We have the lighter colored pants, but they are a bit earth tone leaning. So I thought this coat was a nice way to finish that off. Nice and casual, not the warmest outfit, depending on where you are, this is not going to work. Obviously with a lot of these looks, you can always add beanies and scarves and uh, gloves, which I'm not doing for the purposes 
of this video. On Thursday, we have from ASOS a pair of, they're actually from Topman, but via ASOS, a pair of brown corduroy pleated pants, the Doc Martin Jaden 2 in all white. Absolutely love those boots, like so, so, so much. Um, and I think they look really cool with the corduroy. Then we have up top from, um, boy, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. Oh yeah, you guys wear something underneath. I'm just wearing a hoodie. You know, it's weird sometimes doing these voiceovers a little delayed from when you actually shoot the video, but the hoodie is white, picking up on the white of the boots, and it's from top, Snyder, um, with a little Snoopy graphic in the front, and Brooklyn, which is where this video is shot. And then we're finishing up with another piece from ASOS, actually, this overcoat. Um, we've got my Longines that picks up on those colors, a little blue and a little brown. The coat is, um, obviously primarily light blue, but then we have some darker brown tones and some lighter brown tones in there picking up on the uh, pants. And uh, to me, this is a very interesting look. I, I don't normally combine those earth tones in blue with this, with this bright white, but um, I thought it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked pretty sick. It's a bit more of a streetwear vibe overall. On Friday, we're getting a bit dressed up because it's Friday, right? Uh, we're gonna keep it classy. Um, you could be wearing this to a funeral because it's gonna be an all black outfit or you could be wearing this to a club because uh, it's an all black outfit. It's Friday and it's all black. The pants are from Suit Supply. That's where the suit is going to be from. The turtleneck is from Zara. I picked that up last week in a couple more colors than this, but I actually didn't have a classic black one in my closet anymore. So back in there it is. ASOS boots one more time. I really like even the chunky vibe with a suit. To me, that looks really cool. If you want to keep it more classy, just opt for a regular black Chelsea boot. But here is the double-breasted jacket that completes the suit. It's a wool flannel suit, Italian wool, beautiful. This is the Havana fit from Suit Supply. Uh, my favorite fit, that's all my suits from there are pretty much that. Then we have my Piaget on my wrist, silver link watch. And then we're finishing off with this Neely Loden trench coat in black. You can see that the black isn't quite as deep as the other blacks in the outfit, but it's so minimally off that I don't really mind. Now I'm standing there kind of like Dracula with this massive collar popped. I like that look. I know a lot of guys don't. Uh, some guys think it's tacky or, you know, weirdly bougie or whatever. I really like it. Um, so I tend to wear my trench coats with my collar flipped up, but even belted, this looks really, really nice and you can't really go wrong with an all black fit. On Saturday, we're in white jeans because I love my white jeans in the fall and the winter. We're in another pair of Doc Martens, the Ziggy Soul Pascal boots in a nice cognac brown color. Then up top, uh, I should be putting these on one at a time, but um, underneath we have a Buck Mason court shirt and up top from H&M a quarter zip and it's incredibly difficult to get the one on top of the other. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I just left them already pre-aligned. And uh, yeah, color combo here, uh, medium brown with the lighter tan up top. Really nice, you can see where I'm going with this. I left them together, but it's still a hot mess to put all of this together. So this one takes a little bit of dedication, but this is the shirt, by the way. So this is, you can see it a little bit, a little bit more of it. Um, I really like that shirt. I really like the look already, but we're gonna finish it off strong with some more earth tones. And that is another piece from Hebo, that Italian coat manufacturer, as I mentioned before. You can see uh, that probably without me even mentioning it, because it's the same coat, just in a different color, darker and lighter brown tones. We've got the brightling on my wrist. And then we have from Jade Black, a pair of brown tortoise acetate framed shades. So a nice, lighter colored brown look, uh, earth toned look. Uh, I really, really like this, really fancy, really dapper, but at the same time, not like too crazy. Um, the belt should technically run a little higher in the back, but uh, we'll disregard that for right now. Yeah, I think it's a great look for a Saturday, heading to brunch, meeting some friends, looking all dapper, being comfy. That's what it's about. And then we finish off on Sunday and we finish off strong in another suit. This is the other Zara turtleneck um, that I said I picked up in a nice Bordeaux color. The pants are once again from Suit Supply. This is a double pleated pant in navy. Same wool flannel fabric. Really, really nice fit. I have about a two inch cuff on the bottom on all, pretty much all of, my, all of my suit pants, if you guys ever wonder. And obviously no break because that's how I like it. If you're more of a classic guy, please make sure that your suit has at least a 
a half break or full break, whatever you like, but this is how I like them. Thank you very much. Then we've got the Ankari Flores chunky sneakers because the Bordeaux accent in the back, uh, even though they're a little dirty by now, the Bordeaux accent just worked really well with the turtleneck. So I wanted to wear them, wanted to make it a bit more casual, a bit more sporty. And then we have my Cartier tank on the wrist. And then we have a, a bit more of a standout pair of shades from Furor, a round frame in a pearl color that has like a purplish iridescent vibe to it when the light hits it. So before I put that on, let me um, put it in my pocket because you'll see what I'm doing with those shades in a second. But this is the single breasted Havana blazer in that navy flannel fabric one more time. Um, the suit is complete and now the outfit is complete with another piece from Suit Supply, a double breasted blush pink overcoat that I think is absolutely beautiful. I had this in my closet for about three years now. And now I'm popping on the shades because now it makes sense. There's some of that color that's reflecting when the light hits the frame is reminiscent of the, the pink of the outfit. The pink is playing off of the Bordeaux as well. And I think the navy is a really nice choice to kind of balance that. So a bit more of a standout suited look than the simple black one that we looked at before even buttoned up. This looks really, really nice where we have that Bordeaux and that pink. So that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions down below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe, do all of that. And then one more time, happy holidays. And I'll see you guys soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper.